I got a comment a while ago to make a Minecraft uh, rig in Blender, and I thought that was a really good idea since I do a lot of Minecraft animations, but I hate using other people's work to do so. So we're going to be doing that today in this uh, short little mini-series here. So I'm going to drag open this, this panel over on the right, as always. We're going to delete the default cube, uh, cube, camera, and lamp. It's been a while. Um, but uh, we're gonna get started today. I'm gonna hit this plus button and scroll all the way down and I'm going to activate Ooh, I don't have that activated. All right now. We have our screencast keys. I forgot to reinstall that All right, so uh, that's gonna be telling you all the stuff. I have to reinstall that I'll leave the link down in the description as always so uh, We're gonna get started today. I'm going to uh, actually you know what we didn't need to delete, delete, delete the default cube Oh, well you can add that bad boy back in hit one of my numpad to go into the front facing view and five to go in the orthographic and pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to use this cube and duplicate it a few times to get it to where we need it to be so we're going to hit shift d to duplicate that and right click to cancel the uh movement g z to move it on the z axis down by two uh, and then hit negative to make it go down and then uh, left click to confirm that so now we have our body pretty much um but you know what let's control z that because we need to make it a bit bigger so we're going to go uh, S Z and we're gonna go 1.5 yeah 1.5 and then we're gonna go uh, G Z negative uh, 2.5 yeah that's right 2.5 yeah that's right all right so now we have our body but it's too thick so we're gonna hit uh, S X and then we're gonna go 0.5 so now we have our thin body so if we hit control uh, if we hit one on this then you can see it's facing the wrong direction so we can go R Z and then 90 right there so now it's facing the correct way all right so we have our body we have our head we need to duplicate our body to make the arms and the legs so we're gonna hit control uh, shift D sorry uh, right click to cancel the movement S X to scale on the X axis and we're gonna go 0.5 yeah 0.5 and then we're gonna go blah, 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 G X 1.5 yeah 1.5 I remember I remember the numbers it's a lot of numbers here um, and instead of trying to move this one over here and get it not perfect, uh, we're going to just duplicate that, hit this plus, and we're going to go to the X location and put a negative in front of that 1.5. So now it flips it over there. So now we have both of our arms, our body, and our head. We're getting there. It looks like a Minecraft character so far, almost. All right, so now we're going to take one of these arms and duplicate it and then make this X location say zero. We're going to hit G, X. 0.5 to move that over and G Z to move that down 1.5 no two by two no by three by 2.5 maybe I don't remember all the numbers by three <laughs> by three and hit negative to make that go down all right so remove that down by three on the Z axis and then we're gonna go G shift uh, shift D to duplicate that again and G X um and you know we can just hit the negative negative in front of that right there so now we have our full minecraft character with his legs his arms his uh his head and his body all right so that's how we ha how we do that but now if you tell we can if we rotate these arms they rotate in the center of the the deformed cube we don't want to do that because they need to rotate up at the axis of the arm so we're gonna uh select the body and hit hide which is h on our keyboard um, we're going to select one of the arms. Either one doesn't really matter right now. Go into tab, and we're going to go to tools and loop, cut, and slide. We're going to add in, we're going to scroll up on our wheel, uh, on our scroll wheel once to make uh, two pink lines appear. Then we're going to left click that and right click that to confirm the selection. All right, so now we have two cuts in the middle of our rectangle making three different cubes. We need, we need to do this again, so we'll hit loop, cut, slide, and go up and down this time all the way across and then we'll right click to confirm uh, to cancel that movement now the same thing again on this other side left click to confirm the cut and then right click to cancel the movement and we're gonna do the same thing to these again because we need to make them even we're trying to make everything a square so uh, that's what you want to keep in mind we're trying to make everything a square and then we can tab back out of that let's do this other arm we could have done this before we before we duplicated all these but I like to do them all by hand just to make sure uh, I know the, what the process is so I don't forget it so we're gonna do the same thing make sure all of these are even cubes and there we go we'll do the legs later on but for now we'll just worry about the arms so we're gonna select this arm over here and start with this one we're gonna grab this point right here um, and we're going to go to uh, blah, blah, blah. we're gonna go to mesh snap cursor to selected 
and that'll snap our 3D cursor to that vertice on that arm right there. So then uh, we're going to tab out of edit mode and hit Control Shift Alt C. That's the like the longest uh, hot, uh, hot hot cut ever, but it, whatever. Uh, and then we're gonna go to uh, Origin to 3D cursor right there. So now this put our origin of the the rectangle of his arm where we need it to be. It put it on the actual pivot point right there. So that's nice. We can now rotate his arm and it rotates. I'm hitting R, I'm gonna hit Alt and H to unhide the chest so we can see a bit, a bit better. Now his arm rotates perfectly fine. We're gonna do the same thing with the other arm over here. So we're going to tab in, select that, that vertice, snap, cursor to selected, uh, untab, Control, Shift, Alt, C and origin to 3D cursor right there. So now both of the arms move perfectly just like he has actual arms. Same thing with the legs down here, but instead we're going to uh, we're gonna do it up at the top. So we're gonna scroll twice there, loop cut once there. The same thing as the arms because it's the same exact shape. And then loop cut, loop cut, loop cut. And we're gonna select this top piece up here. And then we're gonna go mesh, snap, cursor to selected, untab, Control shift alt c and origin to 3d cursor boom so now his leg moves like an actual leg kicking a soccer ball or whatever uh so now i'm gonna do the other leg as well so i'll be back when i'm done with that just want to do this on camera so you don't forget uh snap cursor to selected untab Control shift alt c origin to 3d cursor just so you don't forget i'm gonna do that one more last time on camera Alt H to unhide our body, and we can now see that our legs rotate right, our arms rotate right, and our head does not. So let's fix that really quick. So uh, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna loop cut across just one time, and then one time there. So now we have the cube that we need in the front, and on the side, we'll do that one right there. Perfect. Now we're going to re uh, rehide the, the body and select this bottom point right there. And of course, mesh, snap, Cursor to selected, untab, control, shift, alt, C, origin to 3D cursor. Now, when we do this, now we have our rotating head. Perfect. So now we have our entire mesh, and in the next episode, the, the body is going to rotate like that. That'll be fixed in the next in the next part, but still. We have everything else working nice and perfectly. In the next part, I'm going to teach you how to actually skin the uh, Minecraft character, and after that, we'll do the rigging, and of course, the face rig after that. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this first tutorial. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye.